Since 1983, fame has helped business and education work for Maine. Contact the authority, the finance authority of Maine. You're watching Maine Biz Sunday, Maine's business news source. Welcome back. Today we're broadcasting from the Maine Biz Momentum Convention. It's being held on the floor of the Augusta Civic Center. Uh, we have a great group here today and a great group of uh, experts that we are able to pull together for the show. So we're really glad to be here. Today's event will feature business workshops, networking, and inspiration all around. And that's why our next guest is really important. One of the keynote speakers for today will be Doug Hall, CEO of Eureka Ranch. Uh, Doug's been uh, described by business, a business mag CIO Business Magazine as a combination of Bill Gates, Ben Franklin, and Bozo the Clown. Uh, I mean, how can you resist that kind of an intro, right? We got him laughing already. So, uh, so we really want to talk about that. And, and, and uh, Doug also uh, is a Maine native, a Maine UMaine graduate, an alumnus, and now has a program for innovation engineering right at the University of Maine. So we're going to hear all about that. Doug, thanks for coming. Welcome. Thank you. Great. Thank you for having me. I want to tell you something about that internet. You know, it just it lasts <laughs> forever. You know, in the old days they would end. You know? I love it, man. <laughs> Find me some quotes. Yeah, that's great. Um, so yes. Yeah, so first of all, tell us about uh, Eureka Ranch. Tell us about innovation engineering in general, and then we'll get into more of the specifics. Okay, innovation engineering. Yeah. Fundamental thing. Right now in the economy and all economies, if you're not unique, you better be cheap. If you're not meaningfully unique, you better be cheap. And the real challenge right now is we need to accelerate profitable growth. Okay? Well, to do that, whether you're a for-profit, non-profit, or other, you need to have some skills. You need to know how. Mm -hmm. And in order to know how, we teach in innovation engineering, we teach students how to lead, how to lead the creation, communication, and commercialization of meaningfully unique ideas. How is that different than regular just business management kind of training? Well, it's very different in that it's an engineering course. Okay. This is not about theory. This is about doing. Okay. Chemistry, the study of materials, chemical engineering applied. This is an applied. This is the tools and confidence. We're going to teach you the tools and confidence. And importantly, it isn't some theoretical create, but it's create, communicate, commercialize. That's the system hmm. that we're doing. And so we're it's taking them to shipping it. You've got to ship it. And yeah. the fra fact of the matter is, is most people make a mistake. They think the problem is they're not doing it, but they've got an idea not worth doing. <laughs> and so it starts at the create. It's the raw material coming in. And what makes the program totally unique is three things. One, it's based on systems. Dr. Deming went to Japan, recreated Japan. 94% of the problem is the system, 6% is the worker. Right. It's a system. Two, it's grounded in data. 20,000 innovations, 6,000 teams, measured quality control charting. Mm. It is a database system. And number three, it's practical. Mm -hmm. Absolutely applied, hands-on, practical. This is the stuff... I work for the world's largest corporations, and we also do thousands of small businesses through our partnership with the U.S. Department of Commerce. Mm -hmm. In Maine, it's the Maine MEP network. Right, right. And what we find is, is that you've got it. It's about making it real, not about theory. Okay. Uh, you know, the economy is not stellar right now, uh, and you very, make a very clear distinction between artistic creativity and capitalist creativity. What's the difference? Talk about that. I don't, I'm not an artist. Okay. Okay. I'm an innovator. Okay. And my goal is quite simply, I define innovation quite simply, is, is that you have ideas that people are willing to pay more money for your product, your service, or you. Okay? It means you're meaningfully unique. Right. Meaningfully unique ideas means customers are willing to pay more money. Mm -hmm. If your profit margin is going down, you're on your way to becoming a commodity. You know, it's the life cycle curve. You're on your way to death. Mm -hmm. So it's time to reboot and restart. And that's what it's about. Innovation engineering at the University of Maine and through Maine MEP yeah. is about rebooting, restarting, and getting people back on that growth curve. Good. How do you? Uh, how does a business know, uh, or even just an entrepreneur out there who's thinking about the business, know if their idea is any good? How do they know? How can they test it? What do you teach them to test well, that idea? Well, it's really simple. Meaningful and unique. Okay. Meaningful and unique. But they all think there's as meaningful and unique. Oh, no, it's real simple. So what's your profit margin? Ah, good. Okay. So it's down to is that. Is your margin higher than others? Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's less, stop whining. I'm not interested in whining. <laughs> right. Okay, prices right. go down. That's the deal. Yep. Okay. If you can get a premium margin, then you're meaningfully unique. Yep. And if you're getting a commodity margin, you fight. See, people turn around and they think that they, you know, they have problems with sales. They have problems with margin. Right. They have problems with this. Right. Well, the reality is, is those are funding. That's not the issue. Yeah. The issue is they got nothing worth doing. That's right. It was the idea. It was the, when yep. Dad started the company, they were meaningfully unique. Mm -hmm. And now we've gotten fat, dumb, and lazy. Mm -hmm. And it's time to reboot and restart. And that's what we teach students. In fact, we've got students coming out now that we have demand. And we need more demand in the state of Maine. Because yeah. I'm sending students to Washington, D.C., to Denver, to Kansas City. The companies are coming to Maine. We, I was just up at the university. We have people from Wyoming, Kansas. 
Arkansas. They were there, and they were looking at students, and they were saying, can we hire some of these students? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hands off, mm -hmm. hands off. Right. They said, hey, we're here. Right. We're here. Let me ask you about that. Now, you brought up the, the Maine and, and, and our economy here and what's going on here. Uh, Forbes magazine just recently came out with their, you know, they, every year they do the list of business-friendly states, and Maine uh, has the distinction of being number 50, the worst state to do business in based on the Forbes ranking. Is that real or not? What do you think I, I, about well, that? Well, obviously, it's stupid. Ah, <laughs> I mean, don't hold back. Clear. Tell me let's how you really No, do. it's stupid. I mean, it's obviously by people who've never started a business. Okay. okay. Let me tell you. In the state of Maine, you've got two kinds of people. Okay. You've got whiners who like to whine. Yep. And you've got Mainers. Yep. Mainers are self-reliant. We don't make excuses. Yeah. We figure it out. We get it going. When my forefather, John Hall, came here a long, long time ago, mm -hmm. he didn't whine about things. Mm -hmm. We took charge. Well, let's, let's do the numbers, okay? okay? University, we have the number one university when it comes to tech transfer. Not big, not, but 200. They're the easiest people to do business mm -hmm. with. Over 200 technologists from the University of Maine. Right. Our education system with laptops is the envy of the world mm -hmm. out there. Taxes, let me tell you, in Ohio where the ranch is, I pay a lot more taxes than you pay here. So what's your problem? Yep. Okay, okay, I got it. It's cold. Well, guess what? That's paradise. Right. That means we get to go skiing. That means we get to, we get four seasons. And ice fishing. D yeah. Do you want to go live down in Mississippi? Right. Go live in Mississippi. Right. Okay. Then you won't have an electricity problem. Right. Okay. So stop whining. You want to live in paradise? That's the temperature. And guess what? The temperature's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. I mm -hmm. love it. And so the fact of the matter is, is we got a lot of whining. And I ask them, what's your problem? Regulation. What mm -hmm. regulation? No, that's excuses made week, by from, whiners. I hear it every week from every business that comes on. Yeah, that's, that's people that have not taken charge to grow their company. Okay. Okay. They're sitting there and they're on the death thing. And the problem we've got is we've got a lot of baby boomers who are not looking 10, 20 years out. Let me, let me ask you a question because we're out of time. I'm going to ask you a question. No, that's good. No, I'm this sorry. Is, I'm I sorry. I'm just no, getting... I, 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 you are. This state matters. Well, that's my question to you. Can the, the precepts of the innovation engineering be applied to our state in general and to state government and how we actually manage Bain's economy? We already have them coming. Okay. They're already attending. We have run four innovation engineering leadership institutes in the state. Okay. The people were coming from around the country to learn what Maine's doing. We had the head of NIST MEP here learning how is Maine doing. Mm -hmm. Kathy Renault, some of these people, yep. we have world-class people okay. here who are doing world-class stuff, but we have this love of beating ourselves up. Oh, I hear you. Get over it, people. Okay. We have things going on. Companies that attended Innovation Engineering the next week got a million dollars in sales. Mm. Okay? There is great stuff going on in these people. I'm not in politics. I don't have intention yep. to be in politics. Those people that do that, it doesn't matter. Right. Let's get going. We've got to wrap it right there, but I think one thing we, I would like you to do, and maybe we can do, we're going to have a new governor, new legislature. Maybe we can change the, the sign when you come into Maine, the way life should be. Maybe we should say, Maine, stop whining. I like that. Well, and the good news is, is they've already signed me up with the new legislators. I'm going to teach them all. Sweet. we got to make them smarter. Thanks, we got to Doug. teach them, and that's what the University of Maine's doing. Great. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Stick around. We'll be right back. We're going to go out and about throughout the conference and talk to some of the businesses just like yours and ask them for their predictions for 2011. Stay tuned. Maine Biz Sunday is made possible in part by funding provided by the Finance Authority of Maine.